Hello, I'm Matthew Francis, and I'm gonna show you how to make homemade caramel sauce. Okay, so how do you make homemade caramel sauce? It couldn't be simpler. It's really just white sugar that you cook down until it starts to caramelize and get darker. The two ways of making caramel are the dry sugar method and the wet sugar method. For both methods, what you need is a super clean saucepan and clean white sugar. Any sort of stray crumbs are going to make the sugar grainy and start to crystallize. We don't want that. First, let's talk about the dry. Basically what you're gonna do is just take white sugar and put it in a heavy bottom skillet and cook it on high until it begins to melt and turn brown. This process is called caramelization. But what caramelization does is it really adds some complex, deep notes to your white sugar that otherwise would only just taste sweet. But once you caramelize that white sugar, you'll have some nutty flavors and a lot of beautiful, complex notes that will make the whole caramel sauce that you're making even more delicious. Once the sugar is in the pan, don't do anything at all. Don't stir it, don't move it, just let it do its thing and begin to melt. Once you see some of the sugar starting to turn brown, you can kind of jiggle the pan a little bit to move all the sugar around. You don't want to stir because the more you move or agitate the sugar, the more that you're going to add air into that molten sugar and it's just going to get stringy. Right now we just want it to be liquid. When you're doing the dry sugar cooking method, you really want to keep a close eye on it because the caramelization happens very quickly and if you walk away and forget about it, it can easily burn. When the sugar is melted and caramelized how you like it, it's the right color, immediately take the hot pan off of the heat and submerge the bottom of the skillet in some cool water to cool down and stop the cooking process. This is just going to make sure that your caramel stops cooking as well as uh, keeps the color that you want it. Now keep in mind for the dry sugar cooking method that if you let the caramel cool, it's going to harden. So if you want it to be liquid, I would use it really quick while it's still warm but if you like put it in a ramekin or you put it in a bowl to cool, it will become rock solid. Next, let's move on to the wet sugar cooking method. You can easily use the wet method for any caramel sauce recipe. All you have to do is add one third or one fourth cup of water to every one cup of white sugar. To make the caramel sauce, what you wanna do is have a pot, add in your measured water, add in your measured white sugar, and you can stir the sugar and water to dissolve it all together, then bring it to a boil, and you can stir it until it reaches the actual boiling point of 212 degrees Fahrenheit. And once it's boiling, stop stirring. And we don't want to add more air or more agitation during that process. Just allow it to melt and cook down. And what's happening is since the sugar is boiling, all the water you put in will eventually cook off with evaporation. And so you're going to be left with the same type of caramel sauce. It's just a more controlled process. Again, you want to avoid stirring because that agitation is just going to cause crystallization of your caramel and make it really grainy. All of the water needs to evaporate before the water can start to caramelize. And then finally, once you reach a nice medium, beautiful caramel color, I'm going to add in my butter and some cream and I'm going to stir it together to get that nice, luscious, creamy caramel. You want to stir until all the ingredients are really nice and well incorporated. If you did choose to add in butter or cream, your caramel will be soft and sauce-like, and it will be great to add to cheesecake, bread pudding, or on top of ice cream. If you leave out the butter or the cream, it will harden when it cools down, but you can easily just gently warm it up again and it will be liquid. And now I'm gonna pour it over some ice cream. Ooh, look how good that looks. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to our recipes, and don't forget to press the notification bell so you don't miss any of the great videos that we make. Down in the comment section below, tell me if you say caramel or caramel. I kind of bounce in between both, honestly. And tell me what you would put your caramel sauce on. Thank you for hanging out with me. I'm Matthew Francis, and I'll see you next time.